called me and gave my ass eight, man. I hate she called it, man. I'm so embarrassed, y'all. She told me I kicked me out the house. I didn't know she was gonna come home, man. I had the girl, I, the girl told me she wanted to try it one time. And, and I usually don't do that, y'all. I usually don't do that. My mama came in. I thought I heard something, y'all. Y'all, when she came in, y'all, I was, I was squeezing the couch, y'all. I was saying, oh! And she seen me bent over. But the girl look at me and I got that couch squinched. Squinch! This is the most embarrassing day of my life, y'all. I don't know if you're gonna let me come back in and none of that. Oh. She wanted to do that. And uh, my mama came in, man. She kicked both of us out, y'all. She kicked both. I didn't know she was going to come up in there like that. And now she in there pissed off mad, man. Then kicked the girl out of how the girl and ran home, y'all. I got I to gotta call. I gotta, I'm going I'm to be back let y'all know what happened. Come on, my mama in that trip, man. She... I came outside for a minute. It's raining. I can't walk nowhere. I want. I was gonna go for a walk, but I can't walk nowhere. Hey, yo, look, fellas, check this out. Whatever you're into, it's totally up to you. It's your preference, you know. Sexually wise, you know. Sexual wise, you say that, you know. Whatever you're into is totally up to you. Um, no one is here to knock your preference. No one is here to knock you down for what you like and what you don't like. However. It's always best to have your own place or to have your own things. Then you wouldn't be um, ridiculed, put down, and, you know, ostracized or something of that nature because um, your preference and um, what you are strongly into and what you indulge into. I mean, to each his own. Whatever you got going is what you got going. You know, but living with your mother... Doing these things. And like I said, this is a teaching moment, fellas. Um, it's bananas. You know, it's kind of crazy. But we're going to um, skip the intro. I got things to do. My video for education purposes only. Fair use only. Like, share, subscribe. Hit the notification bell. Please like, share, subscribe. Hit the notification bell, fellas. So you can be alerted when these videos come out. I'll let me. Go to my about section. And you'll know how to get at me. The description, everything's up under the videos. You know how to reach me, you know. Patreon um, <clears throat> is up there. The cash app so you can support the channel, the Gmail, the phone number, um, social media platforms, you know, holler at me. And let's get off into this. He could be joking. I mean, we're dealing with the TikTok world, um, Snapchat, Facebook, Instagram. Um, everyone got a camera in their face, you know. You got dudes like this, you know, that you, you wouldn't even you wouldn't even fathom to think that this type of dude would be out pranking and cracking jokes and laughing and clowning, especially standing on his mother's roof. You would think that uh, he'd be too busy. Trying to get his money up, right? Get his life together. But no, this is what you get, fellas. This is the time we're living in. Everybody want a fucking camera in their face. For joke purposes and shit. You know, for them to uh, <clears throat> be recognized. You know, everyone want their likes and shares. And, you know, they just, I mean, I don't know. Social media is the turn your biggest gangster <laughs> into a motherfucking Miss Ann Dow. You dig? <laughs> A little Miss Annie Dow or one of them uh, fucking Cabbage Patch Dow or something. Like I said, he could be joking. He could be playing games. He could be faking. He could want to troll and want to get clout or whatever they call it. <clears throat> but staying with your mother and getting caught getting your salad tossed is some suck ass shit, man. It's beyond like who does that? You know what I'm saying? There's got you got hotel rooms. She got her own place. You got studio apartments out here, bro, for four or five hundred dollars a month. Yeah, you might hear some gunshots and um, 
you know what I'm saying? I'm just selling dope in the apartment building or, you know, out back. You you, you see Trevor just dumping all type of trash and probably in your alleyway. And uh, yeah, you, but it's yours. It's your place of um, sanity. You know what I'm saying? You can go there. You can um, chill there. You can um, be there. You don't have to get kicked out of different places. You can put out on the porch. Now you got to do a live video about you getting your salad toss and your ass ate. Mm -hmm things of that nature. <clears throat> like I said, this is not for jokes. This is not for gimmicks, pranks, games, and fun and all that shit. This is for a teachable moment only. And because a lot of you young guys are coming up now and you guys are scared to break the nest. You guys are scared to get the fuck from under your mom's titty. You guys are scared to actually make that transition in life um, of getting to the other side of the unknown. Because it's unknown to you. You don't know these things. You're so used to being up under your mom's. You're so used to having a room there. And she's so you're so used to um her probably picking up socks and fucking shoes in the middle of the floor behind you. You left out a, a grilled cheese sandwich plate, the shit cheese and shit stuck to the plate. You just a funky motherfucker. And how you got rings around a um tub, you don't shower, you don't it's a lot of shit you don't do. It's a lot of sh I mean, you don't clean up the shower and you don't it's a lot of things you don't do that's um, detrimental to your health and to the relationship of you and your moms. You know what I'm saying? And, and as a man, when you get a certain age, I say 21 or better, you should be looking forward to um, actually getting out there on your own, experiencing life. You're not getting younger and you're not about to die no time soon, so you need to go forward in life. You know? I said to sit up here complaining and crying about how my mom's doing me wrong. She's a scandalous motherfucker. She kicked me out. She's always in my business every time I want to have sex and bring a woman over here. Motherfucker, who, that ain't your goddamn shit. And I strongly doubt if you pay bills in that motherfucker. You going in on some bills. You probably throwing a $20, $40, $50 here and there. That's about it. But you're not really doing shit. That's her place of residence. She got, and if she owned it, she got to pay property taxes on that motherfucker every year. And we know how taxes are. This shit slowly increase, don't it? Then the bills, everything is in her name. What are you talking about, dog? She got every right to kick you out. You got your motherfucking shitty ass toot up in the air with somebody's face in it. You could be in a hotel room somewhere. You could be at the bitch house. Like I said, with the... The most you be in a little studio somewhere. Hell, go to the back alley. You ain't got a car, go to the back seat of that motherfucker. <clears throat> then y'all come up to the camera, you come to social media, you come to all these platforms complaining and disrespecting your parent when it's you. It's you, homie. And a lot of you young fellas are out here like this. Depending on moms for every motherfucking thing. Moms gotta come and pick you up from work. You drive a mom's car to work, back and forth to a bitch house, and you get, what the fuck? Everybody in the motherfucking family um, um, clowning on you, calling you baby Huey and all type of shit. <laughs> Big ass motherfucking duck that still wear diapers. I mean, come on, man. You sleeping on the couch and you farting and, and shitting and it's disrespect. I mean, no one wants you there. Get the fuck out. Mom's probably can't even have a life of her own. She probably can't even get no dick when she wanted. Because you cooped up in that motherfucker. This motherfucker ever been a 40-something, 50 years old? I mean, I mean, I don't know. Probably older. Could be younger. You know, you got they got that fentanyl and all that shit out here now. These dudes be doing all them drugs and shit. You know what I'm saying? 28, 25, 30 years old, looking like they pushing 52 and all that shit. Real talk, you know, drinking that um, what the what, what's that shit uh, drinking that uh, what's that that uh, they used to have it back in the days that Mad Dog Twenty Twenty and uh, Night Train and uh, Old English and all that hard shit, but they they got some other four loco they, that's that new shit they that four loco um, camo Mickey beards and all them old big black cans and that shit that's that will eradicate your liver, kidney, heart, every organ that you got on the inside of you. But you stand with your mama, though. 
You living up under her motherfucking roof. Bitching and complaining because you can't get no ass. You shouldn't even want no ass. You should want a life. You should want some finances. You should want growth. Ass will come with all that. I mean, ass is there. That's there. That shouldn't be no big complaint. I mean, put your dick in your hand and jack off some motherfucking word, dog. But stay on the focus on getting your money. Stay on the focus of getting the fuck up out of your mama's place and getting into your own place. And a lot of you young fellas are like this. You're fighting with her boyfriend, the guy that may come around, or the potential guy that wants to come around. You're hating, doing all type of sucker shit. Tyrese baby boy ass motherfucker. Get the fuck up out that goddamn house, man. And get on your own, man. Experience life. Experience having your own. And you will know the um you you will know that this is actually the American way. Otherwise, you're not gonna know that because you're used to the norm. And the norm of you is getting up at what 10, 11 o'clock afternoon. You damn near the got half the you damn near missed all the morning. So you're not working, you're not hustling, nothing. you're waiting on mom to make your bacon and egg sandwich. And, and, and mom, you need you need me to go run. You need me to do this. You need me to give me the keys to the car. Bum ass shit. Suck ass shit. And wonder why motherfucker don't respect you. Yeah. And we got a lot of guys like that in our families, fellas. And some of these motherfuckers are our brothers and cousins. And they, they real close to us. So we got to check this shit. Stop enabling this shit. And we have a better, you know, community. We have a better world. We have a... Um, Guys actually getting out there and experiencing um, life and knowing that uh, masculinity do exist because there's so much bitch-ass femininity going around. Like this here. Like these videos, share them, and subscribe, fellas. You already know what's the message, man. Holla. Good.